Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, it's great to have you here. I really do appreciate it. So we're going to be diving into news here regarding Shadow the Hedgehog and his appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It looks like merchandising has revealed a image of what Shadow is going to look like in the upcoming movie. So let's break it down. Let's check it out and let's see what Shadow is going to be looking like. So this comes to us from comicflicknews.com. So merchandise for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 reveals the best look yet at Keanu Reeves' Shadow the Hedgehog. Do you know what? I completely forgot that Keanu Reeves had been announced to be voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. That has to be one of the coolest castings in recent years. Having the Baba Yaga, having John Wick himself voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. That's just two cool characters coming together for a film project. Take my money. <laughs> so, while fans eagerly await the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, rumoured to be on its way for months, new merchandise packaging shared on GameFragger.com has unveiled a long-awaited first look at Shadow the Hedgehog. Though a few shadowy glimpses have surfaced online, yeah, I do have a video on the channel, guys, where there was some sort of convention somewhere in the world, and they had a, like, a placard or, like, an advertising board in the background with Shadow's face, but it was very zoomed in, and you couldn't really tell a lot of detail, but we still got a good look at Shadow in that uh, video. Uh, this new image offers the most detailed shot of the villain-turned-anti-hero yet. Since his debut in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Shadow has undergone some minor cosmetic changes, but still looks suitably formidable. Yeah, he pretty much looks the same um, from what he did back in that original game that he appeared in. There isn't much changes. He hasn't gone through a radical transformation like a lot of characters in games and movies have done. He's pretty much stayed the same. And that's I'm cool with that because his character looks awesome. So Idris Elba, a portrayal of Knuckles, was a hit, leading to Paramount Plus spin-off TV series earlier this year. If Shadow resonates uh, with fans of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, he could potentially receive his own feature, possibly a big screen outing. Yeah, if if one of the characters from Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie franchise, had to get a solo spin-off movie, I think Shadow would be that character. Keanu Reeves, Shadow, solo movie. I mean, a lot of people would be so down for that. The fact that Keanu Reeves would be attached to that project would, uh, you know, do do no end of good to go uh, promoting that project and I think a lot of people would really enjoy it. So the toy packaging also features Sonic, Knuckles and Tails who look largely the same as when we last saw them. Shadow the Hedgehog debuted in 2001 Sonic Adventure 2 created by Dr. Eggman's grandfather Professor Gerald Robotnik. Shadow was designed as the ultimate life form with abilities surpassing those of Sonic. His creation aimed to unlock the secrets of immortality. That sounds pretty ominous. And as you can see here, this is the image of what Shadow looks like in the 2001 Sonic Adventure game. It doesn't really look much different from the, uh, you know, the newer renditions of the character. Pretty much design stayed the same, like I said. But uh, Shadow is one of the coolest characters. I really enjoy playing Shadow in those earlier games when I was a kid. Growing up, uh, you know, playing the Sonic games myself, Shadow was always one of those memorable characters. So after witnessing the death of Gerald's uh, grandfather, Maria, during a raid on the Space Colony Ark, Shadow vowed to fulfill her wish of bringing peace to humanity, initially interpreting this as seeking revenge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, only he could interpret it that way. So since then, Shadow has struggled with his quest for identity and redemption, constantly battling between his darker impulses and no noble intentions. So jumping over to this X post here, this comes to us from Sinior. I do apologize if I'm butchering that name. Um, so it looks like we may possibly have our first look of Shadow the Hedgehog for Sonic Movie 3 of the Sonic Toys. So we have a picture here, guys, of what looks like to be mer merchandising uh, toys for the upcoming Sonic 3. So let's jump in and take a look at these pictures. So in this first image here, obviously we have the front of the package, Sonic 3. We have the characters on the front. This image here in the top left-hand corner where you see Shadow's eyes, that was the image that I was talking about that we saw a couple of months back. There was a there was some sort of convention and they had a picture of Shadow in the background on a placard and that was the image that I was talking about there. It's a really close up look of his face. You don't really get any detail, but it was still cool to see. But anyway, so moving on, we have Knuckles here. We have Sonic. We have some of Dr. Eggman's uh, robots that we've obviously seen featured in Sonic 1 and 2. So we're going to get similar ones in Sonic 3. And then here we have what we're all here to talk about, Shadow. So as we see here, Shadow the Hedgehog, he looks exactly the same as what he did from the 2001 Sonic Adventure game. I mean, his design doesn't look any different whatsoever. But one of the big questions that everybody has is, is he going to be using guns? Because he does use guns in some of the media content that he's featured in. 
Although with today's culture and, you know, all the wokeisms and stuff, I doubt that he's going to be using any type of guns. So, uh, but you never know. So let's move on to the next image. So this is a closer zoomed in of the uh, shadow design on the front of the box here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks great. I think he looks fantastic. It looks like this kind of lightning bolts around the back of him here. It looks like lightning. That's what I'm thinking it is. Um, it's hard to tell because the picture is a little bit low resolution. But yeah, I mean, he's holding his fist out. He's got this red stripes, you know, down the back of his head. And uh, yeah, I think he looks great. I, I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to do with this shadow character. And um, I think a lot of people are really, really going to love him when he appears in Sonic 3. Moving on to the next image. So this is from the back of the box. Again, uh, movie collection. Uh, yeah, movie collection. Oh, the rest of it is in foreign, so I can't read that. Then we have Knuckles. We have a drone. We have Sonic. A buzz bomber. Uh, whatever that is, some sort of robot. And then on the end here, we have Shadow. As we can see, we get a better look at his kind of his boots. He does have these boots that are kind of, um, they're almost like jetpack boots. They kind of have a thruster that comes out of the bottom of his boots. So he can kind of get around really, really quick. And uh, we have this little white kind of um, fur on his chest again. And the red stripes kind of going on his head. His, his quills, if you like, are more kind of spread out than Sonic's. As you can see, Sonic's kind of go down to the back of his head a little bit more. Whereas Shadow is kind of a little bit more sparsed out, a little bit more crazier. So uh, yeah. I think it looks great. I really hope they stick to this design really closely in the movie. But um, yeah, I'm really loving it. And then onto the final image. Again, the front of the box. Um, we've kind of already discussed this, but we'll take another look anyway. Um, Sonic here. Is that something on his head? It looks like a tiara. It might just be the reflection of the box, but <laughs> it almost looks like a crown or a tiara. Knuckles looks great. Sonic looks great. We've got the two drones again and uh, Shadow here. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on this box set actually and just have it as a kind of uh, kind of like a statuesque in my room if you like. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, so let's go back over to the article and just finish off guys. So um, we have a couple more posts here as well from X. So let's check out this one quickly. So this comes to us from Everything Sonic Movie 3. So a potential Sonic Movie 3 popcorn bucket could have just leaked. Showing a first look at Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know if this is real or fake. But keep an eye out when the movie releases. So we have this very low resolution blurry kind of zoomed in image here. It looks like it's taken off a monitor or a screen of some sort. But as you can see, we've got Knuckles on the front. It looks like we've got the Sonic logo here on the left. And then on the right, we can see Shadow um, on the side of the uh, popcorn bucket. Again, we don't know whether this is real or whether this is fake. But either way, this is a really cool uh, popcorn bucket. Is it going to be made out of steel? Um, is it going to be like metallic or is it going to be plastic? What is it going to be made out of? But it's definitely pretty cool and I would love to own this. I think it looks great. But guys, keep your eyes on it. It might be real. It might be fake. We're not sure at the moment. So uh, back over to the article. We have one more X post here to look at. So let's go over to here on X. So from Jan the Raccoon. Small reminder that Sonic 3 is coming. Um, how the movies... Uh, how the movies was loved by probably biased audience and liked by critics. So let's quickly just check on this just to remind ourselves guys before we finish off the video. So Sonic the Hedgehog the first movie 63% tomato meter which I think is great that movie was really charming people really loved it 93% audience score so that goes to show you how much the audience loved that movie. And then the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie 69% tomato meter uh, so it beat the first movie by 6% for the critic reviews. And then 96% audience score again. So again, it shows you Sonic 1 and 2 absolutely universally beloved by the audience. I don't know of any one family or friends who hate that movie. I think it's really charming, both of those movies. And then um, biggest domestic opening weekends for video game movies. So Sonic opened to 58 million. And Sonic 2, massive increase to 72 million. So that's exactly what Paramount want to see. Every time they bring out a new Sonic movie, they want to see that opening weekend go up. Um, shows more people are interested but yeah i think that's great so great uh audience scores great critic scores and uh an increase in the box office opening weekend which is great to hear as well and i think that's pretty much where we are for this article the rest of it is just the cast list here guys pause the video and have a read of the cast list if you want to and the cast list for sonic 3 uh sonic uh, 3 will race into theaters december 20th so if you're looking for something to do over christmas with family and friends and you want to go to the theaters remember this movie comes out december 20th so it'd be a great christmas movie to take your kids to to take your family to if you're interested in watching sonic but yeah guys so that's where we are so I kind of throw it off to you. What do you think about this um, toy packaging? What do you think about this look of Shadow 
on the front of this box. Do you think it looks great? Do you think it looks bad? Are you interested in seeing Shadow or do you not really care? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, leave them in the comment section down below. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.